Hello, and I would like to show you a solution to a matrix differential equation, which has many steps. And so I will go through the solution on this video pretty quickly. So we're going to use the method of unterming coefficients to solve the system x prime equals ax plus f, where a is a matrix, f is a vector multiplied by a scalar function, t, e rate, t times e to the negative 2t power. Well, I've written this out in a slightly better way here, where x you could think of as a single vector. Matrix A is a square 2 by 2 matrix. And F vector is going to be that column vector that we saw before times the exponential scalar function. And I'm calling that F0 and FT. Okay, so how are we actually going to solve this? X prime just means the derivative of X with respect to T. And let's assume that that X vector has X1 and X2, which are both functions of T, as its component functions that we're looking for. So we're looking for this entire solution, X1 of T, X2 of T, as the components of that vector. We're going to use the method of undetermined coefficients. First, we must get the homogeneous solution. The homogeneous solution is termed x subscript h here, vector. Well, the homogeneous solution is assuming that f vector is exactly zero. So we're just solving x prime is equal to a x. And again, remember here, x is a vector. And this particular x is the homogeneous. In other words, if you added zero to both sides of the equation, this is a homogeneous solution. And it wouldn't really matter what f is. So we have to consider the homogeneous solution first. Well, in order to get that, what the homogeneous solution ends up being is a matrix exponential times a constant vector. Now, the matrix exponential is going to be P and then this matrix, which is exponentials along the main diagonal with lambda 1, lambda 2, which are eigenvalues, and then times P inverse times that constant vector. Now, what is this P? Well, it's the diagonalizing matrix. It's given by the columns are the eigenvectors of the matrix A, the square matrix A. And then, uh, yeah, basically later on to get the particular will um, sort of match up um, the form of X particular, but we'll get to that later. So let's first start off with the eigenvalues. So the eigenvalues of matrix A are given by the determinant of a minus lambda i, which if you go through this process and lambda is a constant, you get lambda 1 is negative 2 and lambda 2 is 5. By multiplying this determinant out, taking the characteristic polynomial, factoring, and so on. To get the eigenvectors associated with those eigenvalues, you insert them back into that determinant, set it equal to 0, and then you solve. Now it turns out you have one equation equal to zero and then one variable is generally free. We usually choose one of the variables to be one and then the other one follows from there. So in this case, this is the first eigenvector. This is the second eigenvector when inserting lambda one and lambda two and then going through the process. So uh, then what we do is we calculate the P matrix, which is the columns are the eigenvectors. Then we calculate the P inverse given by this formula, which is uh, sort of switching the entries around and then dividing by the determinant of matrix A if it's two by two. Then we take P times that diagonalized matrix times P inverse. And that's how we get this long expression for the matrix exponential. Now we have the homogeneous solution. Then we need the particular solution. Now the particular solution is going to come from guessing the form of what you see on the right-hand side, taking its uh, derivative, inserting it into the differential equation, and then solving for the vectors, and then stating the final answer. Sorry I'm out of time. Hopefully you can pause the video if needed. Hope that was helpful.